Welcome back this morning, you guys. Chelsea doesn't feel so hot. Tired more than anything? That one is just fine. I, These two need to start working on their playroom. It kind of got... I just... It, I'm going to take Okay. Chelsea, <laughs> they will work on their playroom. But my first task today... Actually, the second task. I've already cleaned my room. And I have another project that I want to do later on with Abby. But for right now, I've got to get rid of Christmas. It is actually New Year's Eve. We don't, we have not been filming every day yeah. during break because it's kind of on repeat. We wake up late, we do minimal chores, I work on the computer, run errands. We watch. And the kids play and they this is have from all. Ginger. I know, that's still from Ginger. Yeah. And then teenagers occupy the house for the rest of the afternoon and the evening. And so. I have been lazy and have not put all of Christmas away. So today is the day because we are having tomorrow friends over tonight for New Year's Eve. Yes. And then is tomorrow New Year's Day? Yeah, tomorrow's New Year's Day. So I am going to put away Christmas. I've already taken down the rest of the house. All right here. But I got to put all that away and then take down the ornaments. And don't mind the massive bun up here. I am gonna do my hair later tonight when we go to a New Year's Eve party and then we'll come back here and host our friends to hang out here. I've got a lot of empty bins and that's not because I've got a lot of Christmas stuff to put in them. It's because I did really good this year on getting rid of stuff that I didn't put out. I had a set of six stockings that I ha don't use anymore but I had like an emotional attachment to them and so I didn't get rid of them. Which is silly because I don't like them. I don't want to use them. So I'm going to donate them, but that's the case in almost every single bucket down here. I got rid of stuff, and so I've got to kind of figure out again how to organize this stuff and put it away. I think Jason might be happy because I might actually eliminate one or two whole buckets of Christmas stuff when we put it back away. So let's set this camera up and you guys can kind of watch as I put things away and then we'll do the Christmas tree and take down the ornaments. Because the tree itself is so easy to take down, <coughs> I think what I'm going to do is leave the tree and the lights up for one more night and let that be up for New Year's Eve. But that tree is so easy to take down that I can do that like first thing tomorrow morning. Just It just literally like put it down and put it in the box. So I'm not worried about that. But I've got to get all this stuff done. So let's get going. and separate them into their piles. Thank you, kiddo. You did a really good job. Now we gotta box it all up, right? You want that? Tough luck. <laughs> you can't have it. I've got the other ones still up there. I never found those at Michael's, so I'll have to look next year. No, it is not a jump rope, you little sneak. No. All right, so I've gone through a lot of my stuff. I'm gonna get rid of all of these. They're just kind of hodgepodge of stuff. But then I've got some ornaments in here, first Christmas ornament here, a whole bunch in here. I didn't even hang this one up. That's us on our wedding day. It's our first Christmas ornament. Um, there's a whole bunch in here. And then I've got these ones here that I didn't even put on the tree. And this is actually just a decoration for a board. It's got Velcro on the back of it that I never even hung up. I've got to figure out a way to store these guys better to see if I want to use them next year because I don't want to throw them away or give them away quite yet. So I'm going to go to the craft store and see if they have like a Christmas box. Like I like to store the ornaments in these tins, but they're not big enough for these guys. And so I want to see if there's a box or even a larger tin to store them in. Hopefully they'll have some Christmas stuff on clearance. And then I've got garbage in the garbage bag down there. And then some other ornaments in those two bags. And then I've got empty bin, empty bin, 
ornament bin here and then I haven't even gone through these two but I think they're empty actually this one is the nativities oh that one is going to be filled up that has the nativity boxes that I store them in and then that one is miscellaneous so I've got to go through that one so my first task is going to do I'm going to do ornaments first because I have a definitive place to put all the ornaments and then I'll go from there all right next up is working on this shelf I've already taken some of the stuff down but I need to finish it kind of put things away I am going to leave this star garland here back up my little doodad behind there I will add another garland to that later but I just wanted the stars there's no reason why the stars can't stay I like having a garland on there so next up is to take all this down <music> So kind of gets more and more overwhelming. I've got to find places for all this. I know I have the room for it. I just want to organize it well. Is right, it Ash? Too bad it is. All right, Christmas is all taken down in here except for the Christmas tree. I haven't completely rearranged the shelf here yet, but I think it's good for now. I actually left my bottleneck trees up here and one up there just because I feel like it needed a pop of color for right now until I get like another <laughs> season. Oh my Aww. gosh, Chelsea. I wanted to see you. little you. twit. But we're gonna leave the tree up for today. I've gotta get a ladder to get the string and the last ornament and the star off. We actually didn't get my parents' star put up there um, in time. So, uh, in case you didn't know, I don't know if I ever said this, my dad sent me a new star down there because this one wasn't working in the beginning. Actually, I should show it. That one wasn't working in the beginning, but because oh. it's kind of tilted, but we never got the new one put up. This room is all clean. I just need to vacuum the room. And then I've got in here the buckets. Like I said, I kind of want to do another bucket or a box for some of these last ornaments. And then this one is half empty here. And so is this one. My problem is, hang on, Chelsea. My problem is this bucket here is half empty and so is this one. But the problem is, these are all glass ornaments. They're all those snow globes and they're heavy and they're fragile. And I don't want to either put them underneath all this or on top of it. And so I've got two like half empty buckets. I don't know. I'm kind of figuring that out. And then these two are full with nativity stuff and who knows what else in the other one. And then I have an empty one. I actually would have had two empty ones, but I don't think I can combine those two. And then I've got all these trinkets up here. But these are what I was kind of talking about as well. Kind of want to get a bucket or a box or something to put all of these guys in. I'll wrap them all up, but I kind of wanted a little bit more protection for them to kind of get stored away so that they don't chip and break. And then I just started this little tray here to go on the counter. I've got leftover candies from Christmas in here. And then just a neutral colored candle. I'm gonna light that one. I got this tray at that Onco store in our mall. I'm going for very simplistic right now in January and I'm back to my hot mess but I've got to run to Costco and the bank before they close here on New Year's Day or New Year's Eve so I'm gonna hurry and vacuum really quick run to those two stores by the time I'm done with that I think Jason will actually be home maybe run and do something together as a family but Kaylee's wanting to have her friends come over so I'm just trying to figure out what we do for the rest of our day before we have all of our plans tonight but Chelsea you said you're done up in the playroom Almost done. Okay, they want to show you guys the work that they've done in the playroom, and I'm happy that they are proud of what they've done. No fighting, no arguing. Kind of fight. Kind of fighting, but you did pretty good. So Chelsea, you want to take them around and show them what you've done upstairs? Yeah. Okay. Go turn on the lights, Ash. So Ash, what are you doing? We are dividing the things into groups. Why is there a chocolate from Easter in the shoe? I don't know. Okay, well, so are you piling things? So what are you doing? What's your technique of things? Just put them in groups and then get all the stuff where it needs to go, put it in where it needs to go, and put it in piles if you have two people. So it makes, it gets it done quicker. Okay, so what's this pile over here? Um, Christmas stuff. Okay. Days of Christmas, dress up. And uh, this is the only Marvel Pony thing. 
Okay. And over here we have a couple more things. We finished this one a while ago. We sorted the bin right there. Did the horses all set up and did it there. Put the car right here. Put, put those boxes there. Yes, graham crackers did. Yeah. We'll get back to work. And there's garbage over there. Yeah, just garbage. Okay, uh, let's go get back to work. All right, made it to Michael's and I got these tins. Christmas calories don't count, which is fun. I got square ones this time because they just fit better in the buckets. So I got three of them right down there. One, two, three. And then I got cards for next year. That was $2 instead of $8. And I wasn't actually going to go to Costco because I was like, do I want to do that alone? I could either do Costco or a grocery store, but I went to check the milk level because that's really the only thing that I need to worry about is whether we have enough milk for tomorrow. And I didn't put mascara on. I don't even care. <laughs> I don't care. My bun is getting bigger. Can you see it? It's getting bigger by the minute. But our stupid outside fridge froze the gallon of milk that I had left. So I at least have to go get milk. And then I was like, then I need bread. And I have no fruit. Like, I have no apples, no oranges, no nothing. Not even grapes in the freezer. I, I mean, I could do all that tomorrow. I kind of don't want to. I want to sleep in and relax with Jason and not have to go anywhere if we don't want to. I'm just gonna suck it up, go get a few things at Costco, and then I'm <laughs> gotta go home because the teenagers wanna come back over. I just, I never thought that my life would be like this with teenagers. I kind of have had a good two years of, you know, not needing to like find babysitters and I can just leave them home and I can run errands during breaks because I have older kids, but now they wanna have boys over. <laughs> I just cannot leave them there alone. And so it's just another world that I have to kind of travel down for right now. And Kaylee is already texting me, wanting me to give her a definitive time when I'm gonna be home so that the kids can come over to the house. So I've gotta rush off to Costco. All right, you guys, I emptied two buckets and I've got these five here. We had to bring in the wrapping paper bucket and put a few more supplies. So I've got all of that ready to go, and those are the cards I just got for next year on clearance. Thought I would just show you how I organized all these. So this one is kind of all the shelf decor, all that kind of stuff with the new tree topper in there because I couldn't fit it in the other one. But I used these barns for the 4th of July, so I left those on top. This box here has all the nativities and that 25 days house along with our 25 days of Christ. All right, so this bin has the two mini trees that we put in the girls room, all the wooden signs that I had up, and then one bag of linen. And last but not least, I have all tree ornaments and decor all in one box. I've got five of those bins right there because Jason stopped and got me the last two at Michael's. The last thing I did was add new labels with exactly what's in them. So Jason just asked me if it, we weren't too anal to want, want to wipe down all these buckets. Well, they're dirty. They are dirty. They are dirty, but they're going back out. I know. See, it's oh, it's growing. It's like the growing bun when I don't do it. <laughs> There's no point in wiping these down. Yes, the OCD in me wants them clean, but they're going back out on the shelves, which is right by the table saw. So one round of a project, and they're completely dirty again. So... Say hi to Jason. Hey, hey. He just got home from work and stopped at Michael's for me and got me two more bins. And he got the last ones at Michael's. So it is now his duty to <laughs> put all the bins away. I organize them. I organize them and took everything down. And I just, simple task. Put them all back up on the shelf. <laughs> as you wish. As you, yes, as I wish. <laughs> So I just asked Jason to hand me the garbage so I could dump something in it, and he dumped it all into the sink. Thanks, son. Thanks, son. I sorry. I just asked him. I had a handful of stuff. I'm so, I'm sorry, hun. Uh. <laughs> it literally filled up the whole sink so in a pot of water. Oh, I'm so sorry, hun. So no one is here except Ashley and I and Chelsea. I guess Abby's here. Jason took all the teenagers. Yes, they're here again. And I am setting up for New Year's Eve. Got our little drink station there. We will pull out the bubbly. This is just sparkling cider. <laughs> no alcohol in this house. We'll pull this out at midnight for everyone. And then we've got Italian sodas and little snack boxes, plates. And I've got pretzels and chips and that zebra striped popcorn. They can nibble on this little bowl of chocolates. 
and then I got out the sparklers to do at midnight. What can I say? This peanut brittle made fresh by my dad and shipped to us. I've been kind of nibbling on it because I haven't been able to eat this with braces on for three years. So this stuff is so good. Meanwhile, I still look like a hot mess, but uh, we decided not to go to the church to have a little party at there. Just because Jason and I are exhausted. Chelsea doesn't feel good. And so it was only Ashley who wanted to go. I really should fix my hair. Sorry guys. My mood is kind of deflated, I guess you could say. I'm tired and I don't really know what the deal is, but I'm trying to pick myself back up for New Year's here. Get ready for our friends to come over. So it looks like we're hosting all of Kaylee's friends, Abby, and then our friends and their two kids. Their oldest daughter is gonna go to a dance. And so we're gonna have a lot of people here in like an hour and a half. <laughs> Kaylee will be here with all of her friends. They were kind of getting stir crazy themselves. And so Jason took them to Target. Second home away from home. What else, what is that? You had donuts? We don't need donuts. Oh, this is why I don't send him to the store. There's never such thing as need. And there's you have so much more. crap. <laughs> don't. You're right, it is. It is the season for crap. It is. Where are all the kids? I told them and they were like, well, there's not enough time. You left them down there? At Target, so I figured... They we have to go back to get them? And I told them that was a pain. And they were like, yeah, but we're, 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 I don't know, they complained. And I'm like, okay, I'll just go home and make the pizza and I'll call you. And they're like, well, we'll see. Otherwise, you're going to be waiting a long time. This is the mood that I'm in. This is why. Is this constant, like, I don't mind being the house that hosts the teenagers. I want them safe. I want them to feel like they have a place to go but it literally occupies our time 100% of the day. Cause I have to plan out my errands, I have to plan out not leaving them home alone, finding somewhere for their, them to go. If I need to go to Costco and run errands for two hours, and then now we have to go back down to Target and get them right when our party is gonna start. Don't even with me. I'm gonna go down He's here. mocking. Douche. <laughs> Douche move to mock me right now. He's half of my problem, but I'm gonna enjoy the quiet for an hour. So I'm just, I'll, I'll do that. I'll just enjoy not having them all upstairs making tons of noise, playing the game that I bought everyone. <laughs> well, we didn't buy it. You know what I mean. Foosball is just a noisy game. Here, you know what we need to do, love? What? <laughs> I know, I, do In I, your videos, you need to count up all, take all the times you, you used the word douche. <laughs> I don't actually say and that very it, often on it, camera. Yeah. I don't actually say that. And be like, douche, 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 douche. <laughs> I don't actually say it on camera very often. I think we will. Call... Yeah, I'm not cooking their pizza for them right now. All right. So. I'm gonna lay down on the couch. I'm so tired. am I. Oh. I know you work today, but like. Anyway. Yeah. Keep going. You almost had the candy. You already have what you yeah. got. Oh, I want oh, some gum. Man. Oh, there it is. No? Can we both try it one Mom. Time? Mom, it's hurry up. Up. You're taking forever. Yeah. Look who's smoking. 22 of these twists. Oh, he has two twists. Oh, really? Take it. No, I want this. Oh, you got some. Oh, man. I like. Those two I don't like. Hi, Evelyn. Wait, oh, poor thing. Ready? Okay, ready? Oh, ready? No, is that a fart bomb thing? No. Nope. No, you. I can't film anyone else, Evelyn. You gotta come over here. Oh. Just wait. Back away. Okay. My phone is near it. Who's that one? It's not gonna hurt us. I'm scared. <laughs> That's why I'm filming you. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I want to film you doing it. Cut all this out. Why won't it? It's <laughs> Thank you.
I'm gonna burn. I'm gonna add some sparkles. Sand.